Today we are going to learn how to reduce dislocation of interphalangeal joint of grade 2. This type of dislocation of the grade 2 is rare and results from a hyperextension injury. A 30 year old male presented with history of trauma to the left grade 2 while climbing down a bed and presented to ER with complaints of deformity, swelling and inability to move the toe. Here you can see in the still photograph of the patient that there is an evident deformity in the left grade toe of the patient. The distal phalanx has moved dorsally. In addition, the pa patient was in a lot of pain and discomfort and when asked to move his toes, he was, he was unable to do it. An x-ray was ordered and here you can see in the AP view we are not able to appreciate much but in the oblique view we can see the frank dislocation of the interphalangeal joint of the great toe. Now I shall demonstrate the reduction manual for the interphalangeal dislocation. Uh, here I am, I am giving traction to the distal phalanx with my right hand. At the same time my left hand is stabilizing the proximal fragment. Uh, traction is given along the line of deformity and also you can appreciate uh, that the thumb of my left hand is displacing the proximal phalanx dorsally. Now once an adequate traction is given with my right hand and also the left hand pushes the proximal fragment dorsally, a reduction happens. Now once the reduction happens, it is appreciated by a clunk which is heard or felt by the surgeon. Now once this reduction has happened as you can see here, there is instant relief in the symptoms of the patient. The patient becomes pain free and the deformity disappears and the patient is able to move the great toe. Here you can see the deformity has disappeared and the patient when asked is able to move his great toe. Now once the reduction has been achieved, now we have to splint it. The, uh, I'm uh, doing body strapping of the great toe to the second toe. I have put a cotton pad between the first web space and I'm using a paper tape to immobilize the interphalangeal joint of the great toe by strapping it to the second toe. This procedure is called as body strapping and it is used to immobilize the joint Uh, this is the picture of the patient after body strapping of the great toe to the second toe. A check x-ray was ordered and here you can see in both the views a concentric reduction of the interphalangeal joint of the great toe has been achieved. Thanks for watching.